So in SoundSwitch 2.0, they added a new feature, attribute cues. I'm gonna walk you through how I use them in my setup. So, attribute cues, new feature, found on the left side on your menu in SoundSwitch. It's a great tool. It's really good for when you're automating tracks to put, be able to drop in your different cues. So, I use it with two main light fixtures in my setup. I have my American DJ Focus Spot 3s and my American DJ Mega Power Profile Pluses. So the Mega Power Profile Plus, all I really use it for is the UV in the center, um, but it's good. I can just drab and, drag and drop, drag and drop a flag onto my track and we're good to go. With the Focus Spots, now I have two separate Gobo wheels two different prisms, rotations, autofocus. Uh, there's probably a couple of other things in there that I'm missing off the top of my head right now. But I set this all up in my attribute cues so that I can drag and drop the gobo, the prism, the rotation that I want right onto the master track. So let me switch over to the computer and I'll show you what we're working with. Okay, so here we have a track that I've already auto scripted. So. We don't have anything in for gobos or anything like that with my focus spots. And as I talked about, I have the mega power profile uh, pluses that I use. So since this has kind of like this purplish teal blue hue, then I think it would be a good idea for me to add in the UV. So over here in the attribute queue men menu, I have mega power UV saved right there. All I do is drag it and drop it at the beginning of the track and it's saved. It's in there, good to go. If you scroll down to the actual individual fixtures in my venue, you can see it sitting there on those tracks. So now over here, you can see I have all my attribute cues for my focus spots. So here, circular prism, linear prism, and autofocus. Those are like the first like three that I always kind of look at. Autofocus I almost always use. So it's a little bit redundant for me. I have most of my attributes here programmed so that I do have them to autofocus whenever the flag is hit. So it keeps the gobos in focus, but it's still good to have it just there. I drag it and drop it right in. So it's there, it's ready to go. But so now I have all these gobo options. So I have two wheels. So I've just labeled them FS gobo 1.1. So first wheel, first gobo. Then sometimes I'll add a little note for stuff that I like to use a lot. Like so on this gobo, it's circles and I like to use it especially with the prism look. And then down here on the second gobo wheel, obviously it starts at 2.1. And the first one is stars and I like to use that a lot. So it's there so I can remember what it is you know, on the fly really quick. I also have settings for slow gobo rotate, slow prism rotate, and then can do uh, medium gobo rotate um, and medium prism rotate. I don't see much use for myself for having either of those things rotating super fast in my sets, so I don't have them set up for that speed, but I can totally build up more speed if I wanted to. So uh, let's say I want to do uh, my gobo, so I'll pull in stars, and we'll drop that right here, and then that's all set. So one of the cool things to do, and I think it helps keep everything organized and lined up really well, is I have all these attributes at the beginning of my track. This track, I'm not gonna drop any other changes into the track, though I could, but I wanna keep them all organized and tight together. So I'll zoom all the way in. Of course, I'm in the middle of the track. They don't me scroll back down here. All right, so I have my flags, right? So in here, before the track is even loaded, I can move all these flags to line up right down here. And just slide them right down. So I can see what they are, I can see where they are. There's another one oh, way over here. And that way, once they're all down here, they're kind of out of my way on the master track, but I can zoom in, take a look at where they are, take a look at what I have running, and keep them organized. So now I have all my flags. So really cool feature. Um, you go in here, so this is the attribute queue menu if you're not familiar with it. Um, and you just go in and you select the attributes that you want, apply, and there it is, you have it. So uh, just like setting positions, you can just add Let's see, scroll down, see we have new attribute cues, I added two, but same thing. Just go in, kind of like setting a position, then rename it to whatever you want it to be. 
and you're all set. So quick overview of the new attribute queue feature. I find this immensely helpful. I hope you do too. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, all those things, and thank you for watching.